many people <laughs> call me a grandma. I have a lot of those tendencies to, to lay low and I like to knit and cook and sew and all these kinds of things. And so, but to be creative, I think it's a really wonderful thing. Knowing that I'm only one of two athletes this year within the women's high jump to have jumped two meters, um, it gives me a lot of confidence. I'm really, really excited to get out there. Um, I haven't competed a huge amount this year other than the indoor season. So knowing that I have those big heights out this year is a big confidence boost within myself and I know what I'm capable of and I'm just yeah really really excited to, to get amongst that atmosphere and the adrenaline that comes with the championships and then a competition of this manner and I'm just so excited I know what I can bring out training's been going phenomen phenomenally and so yeah just I just want to jump high <laughs> I am very competitive in a lot of ways I think um, but what drives me certainly is bringing to fruition what I know I can. I know I can perform, I know I can jump big heights, but also I like to try and get the best out of myself. And just so happens that in this manner, it's through athletics and through high jumping. And so it's something that I, I love and I love to come to training um, each and every day and to rock up and to try and get the best out of myself. It's more so a comp competition within myself. Knitting and sewing, that's a way to kind of counterbalance the intensity and high pressure of a high jump competition and so, I, yeah, I really like to kind of take it, take it easy and take it slow and kind of take a deep breath so then I can feel those elements of zen when I'm out there competing. <laughs>